Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks, and in today's lesson, I'm going to respond to a question from a viewer. My viewer wrote to say, Danny, I have a table of daily transactions, and I have created first an Excel 2007, Excel 2010 table, and then based on that table, I have a pivot table. Here's my frustration. Back here in the Excel table, when I go to filter the date field, I really like this tree hierarchy. I like being able to see a roll-up of a summary by month. So you notice that we have expand and collapse. He said, I really like this. And my frustration is that when I come over here into the pivot table, which I have based upon the table, when I go to filter the date field, I don't see that roll-up. I don't see that hierarchy summary by month. Can you help me? Yes, I can. But before I show you specifically how to do it, I want to point out that beginning with Excel 2007, we have these marvelous natural language date filters. So now we can filter by last week, yesterday, today, this year, and also all dates in the period. So over here in the pivot table, without really doing a lot of work, come down to all dates in the period and choose one month. For example, April really really very simple and those same natural language filters are available over here in the Excel 2007 Excel 2010 uh, table so natural language date filters including the all dates in a period so if I wanted to come down here and uh, filter by the month of April only now notice that I've added in the total row which is not added in by default for the table so over here in table tools design you want to make sure that you've added the total row all right now let me remove the filter over here and I'm going to show my viewer and show you how we can add in that monthly roll-up for a hierarchy in the pivot table begin by selecting a single cell in the date field come up here into pivot table tools options and choose the command to group the field in the grouping dialog box, notice over here that the scope of the pivot table includes dates from the first day of the year 2012 through the current date, April 10th, 2012. What I want to do is I want to group by month, day, and year. Now, even though the transactions are in the current year, I use as a best practice adding years because in my experience I have found that the size and the scope of the source data has an easy way of expanding. So I always, when I group by month, add in the year. I don't have to display it in the pivot table as you know. So now let's take a look over here at the pivot table field list. In addition to our original field, the date field, we have two new virtual fields that have been calculated the month field and the year field. Now for our purposes we really don't need to see the year in the pivot table. So now that we have this new calculated or virtual field called month, when we want to see a roll-up, when we choose the filter over here, now we can see a summary by the month. So if I wanted to come over here and just see April, click OK and there you go 1792. If I'd like to add another month in there, for example February, click OK and there you go. So it's really really very simple when you take advantage of the grouping. If you ever need to remove the grouping it's really simple. Once again come over here into pivot table tools options and this time choose to ungroup. So when you ungroup now you're back to the original. You see those two fields that were calculated the months and the years have disappeared. Want to bring them back again single cell pivot table tools options, group field, in this case I'm going to choose days, months, and years, and click OK. And I'm going to remove years, and I also want to show you another feature that we have available. I'm going to right mouse click on the field header for months, and I want to show you what the expand and collapse command will do. So in this case I want to collapse the entire field. So here's a really nice summary by the months. If I need to reveal the detail for a specific month, it's really simple to take advantage of the expand and collapse button. 
if I wish I could either come back here right mouse click the field expand and collapse or I have those same commands available up here in the pivot table tools options come over here into the active field grouping and choose to expand the entire field so there I've shown my reader how to add that roll up so it will mimic this nice hierarchy in a tree structure that we have in the list by grouping the field. And if you would like to learn more about pivot tables, I have a marvelous resource available for you. I've created a 90 minute focused uh, DVD tutorial for pivot tables. So I have it available as a downloadable or on a DVD ROM for Excel 2003, 2007, or 2010. And I will look for you in the next lesson.